Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Elden, coming at you with another Wargaming miniature video. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of this Itowery Panther tank model. Uh, it has the World of Tanks rollout logo on it, but still, it's a 156 scale Panzer V, which is the Panther, and it's a model tank. Uh, now, let's talk about the box real quick. Uh, first of all, it tells you that it comes with a tank guide, World of Tanks decals, uh, some invite codes if you actually play the computer game or the Xbox game World of Tanks. Uh, plus, it gives you some premium time and stuff like that. That's all well and good, but that's but I don't really care about that because I don't play World of Tanks. I play War Thunder, but it's I still got it because it's a 156 scale panther tank which translates to 28 millimeter so 156 28 millimeter they're synonymous so you can use them for either one all right now it, it's advertising a lot of the world of tanks uh topic here right you got if you get all four of these tanks you'll get this special hydrostat tank uh in the game right uh <clears throat> and then it has a, a, a cool paint scheme on here, and it tells you about the decals. Now, unfortunately, these decals are designed for the World of Tanks game, and they might or might not be very historical. So just be careful on which uh, decal you use. And then they actually make a World of Tanks uh, acrylic set. All right, so let's put this box off to the side because... I've already emptied the contents. Now, what the primary thing you get is, of course, the model, right? But we're going to set that off to the side just a second. And one of the booklets you get, okay, first of all, you get you get all of that in the box. Okay, so we're going to slide <coughs> all of this to the side. We're going to talk about each, each piece individually. Okay, this is a free-to-play booklet. It talks about World of Tanks. It has the Italeri logo on there because they're partnered and it's Wargaming and the, the four tanks in this series was the Tiger, the Panther, the Sherman, and the Cromwell. And it includes promotion codes to invite your friends or to uh, invite yourself to get yourself a bonus. And also uh, if you're Xbox one or xbox 360 now inside which is kind of cool in a way it's talking about world of tanks but it also talks about each of those four tanks like the tiger and where some of the vulnerable spots are on the tank that's kind of just cool knowledge you know just information uh it talks about the panther it it talks about the cromwell i think i skipped the sherman yeah it talks about the sherman and some stats and then it talks about it shows them all painted and if you get all four of them how you can get the uh, hydrostat tank and then it also talks about their world of warships they have a 1700 scale line but world of tanks also has a 135 scale line uh, what's cool about the 1700 that would actually work with the uh, cruel seas from warlord games as well uh, but i'm not sure if these ships are in the game or not because i haven't really researched that quite a bit all right so you get that you also get this pamphlet here which is in multiple languages italian english french looks like spaniel and what is that polish okay and it basically just tells you read very carefully before doing this don't do that you know uh, the burrs remain use sandpaper basically just tells you how to build a model kit in general it's giving you some pro tips okay that's no problem then we have the actual instruction manual right this is the italian how to build the panther and it, there's in four languages as well on this one so you got german french uh, looks like Italian. Uh, of course, there's a little advertisement in there, too. You know how it goes. It tells you where the parts are. It tells you how to assemble it. 
It's all in black and white, but that's okay. Um, okay, so let's see how far across I can get this. There you go, you get the whole thing. There you go. So these three tiles right there, that's all the instructions you need to build this model. You got your tracks, you got your tracks attached to the lower hull, you got the upper hull, and then you got the turret and putting the turret on. And that's it. And then over here, you're looking at like a winter paint scheme and a second winter paint. Looks like a desert, a summer. Uh, there's another paint scheme. And of course, don't forget the paint scheme that's on the back of the box. Pretty cool, pretty easy to follow, it seems like. All right, now let's talk about the decals. The decals is something I wanted to kind of bring up because I'm not 100% disappointed with it because I, I, I kind of understood what I was getting when I was, or, when I was ordering a World of Tanks version of the Panther. But these decals are really cool in a way, but also really not so cool. So I have autofocus on, so maybe it'll focus on these. Uh, maybe it won't. But you look at all those little, look at all that. That's cool little icons. These are all icons or logos that you can actually get in the World of Tanks game. Am I going to put a, a pineapple grenade on the side of a panther tank? No, I'm not. Am I going to put a playing card? Sure, that might. That could have possibly have been. Or a helmet or a star or a, the lion for my, my Star Citizen regiment. Um, yeah, the maces, possibly. I don't think this spider would have been, you know. I don't know. I'd have to do a little research to see if any of those. They probably wouldn't put an American Indian on a panther tank, you know, or a chili pepper. That doesn't make sense. Uh, the die, maybe. But I would have to use these crosses here. They do have the American circles, so you could kind of... Th yeah, you can't really see it, but they're white. It's white on white, so it's hard to see. But there's an American circle there, and I could understand using those as maybe a capture tank. And then there's some slogans here. And I don't think the Germans would use the Iron Duke. You know, that's not something they would use. Uh, they, they might use the Siegfried. They're not going to use Hunter. That's in English, for one thing. But if there's any, like, I'd have to look at these and see which ones are actually in German. Uh, if they are, then maybe that would be one I would use. I don't know. You could always put the Italery decal on, or the World of Tanks decal on. Uh, okay. Cool decals. Next thing, real quick. It comes with glue. It comes with it comes with uh, Italery plastic cement. A little brush in the in the glue bottle. I think it's a brush. Yep, little brush in the glue bottle. Seven milliliters. That's quite a bit of glue. That should be more than enough to do four or five tanks. Uh, but it comes with enough to do this model obviously I thought that was a really cool touch actually and then the final thing is the actual plastic uh, model kit itself so let's go ahead and open it up Two sprues. Let's throw that away. All right, there's two sprues here. And I love models where the tracks are hard plastic. I love that because I hate those models that have that rubberized plastic that when you, you have to wrap it around your tracks, you have to melt the two pieces together, and you have, and it's, it's flexible so that you could do like, uh, if your wheels move, the tracks would actually roll around the thing. But a wargamer doesn't need that. He just needs hard tracks. Because you're going to pick the model up, use a ruler, you're going to measure, you're going to move it. Another thing I really like about the model, all the bogey wheels, that's one piece, right? So you just pick the bogey wheel up, glue it on. There, there's Like in some model kits, you'll have to glue these little plates onto the back of the back hull. Why do you need to do that? They could just model it in like they did here. A hole, all one piece. I don't have to glue all these little pieces on. Uh, there are things that you do need to glue on, like the tow cable attachment areas. 
uh, a couple of the bogey wheels, maybe the antenna. Let's get a little close up so you can see the detail on these tracks. That's pretty good detail on those tracks. I'm digging it. You even have hatches underneath it. You'll never see that, but that's cool that they did that. I love these, you, the the filters and the engine engine. And if you look close, it's got the Zimmerit on the hull so that you uh, can't put any magnetic mines on it. That's pretty cool. Okay, putting that off to the side. Let's take a look at this one. Remember the bogey wheels, all one piece. Really like that. Uh, get a couple of side skirts that go over your tracks on the side. Uh, your gun. You even get a commander. You don't have to put him on the top, or you could you could put him buttoned up or out. Um, this is the actual exhaust pipes in the back, the mantle, the turret, um, the commander's cupola. Got a couple of different machine guns here. Depending, I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at that. Looks like some bags, a hatch, a couple of hatches. Uh, Looks like the breaker bar container. Yeah, this this model's only got a couple of dozen pieces to it. It should be like super easy to put together. So, um, all right. So that was the review. Whoa, that was the review of the uh, Italeri model kit, 156 scale or 28 millimeter that I'm planning on using for my bolt action game. All right, so come back into my next video where I actually do the assembly and uh, you get to watch me put this thing together. All right, I'll see you then.